we've built the hardware, you guys can see it here, uh, and I've hooked things up, and right now I'm just running a simple test program that flashes all the lights on for three seconds and then off for three seconds. And the question is, how do we build up patterns from here, and how do we, you know, build up, uh, you know, map in uh, the individual LEDs and so on. So let's start off with how we hooked it up, okay? Um, so these legs on this side, are connected to ground through, the, through this chip. Okay, so the chip varies the resistance to keep the current the same always, so you always get the same brightness. Uh, and if you get LEDs, you know, in different colors from the same family, for instance, you can uh, guarantee, you know, they'll all be the same brightness and so on. Uh, this column here is all five volts. They're all exactly the same signal. And these are connected to the long leg of the LED. And then these ones, which connect to the ground, connect to the short leg of the LED. And then this trim pot changes the maximum brightness that you can have. So you can turn it down if it's you know glaring you in the eye, or turn it up and so on. What you see behind here is uh, this is a back box I created so that you can see uh, you know lights through the the crack in the door there. I hooked everything up using breadboard jumper wires. These are fast and easy and good for prototyping quickly, getting your code working and so on. If from there you want something a bit more stronger and permanent, um, I do recommend you either solder or you do use the wire wrapping. Um, there's another video on this channel uh, regarding wire wrapping and so on. But uh, let's dive in here to what we're going to do from here. So I've plugged in the LEDs in any old order uh, up here. Uh, and uh, you, know, you can see all the LEDs that I've plugged in are lighting up and some are not. Now this EL wire you can see that's on a different circuit. We'll address that uh, in the future as well. Okay so one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to find uh, the code that you're going to use in our system. So um, in github.com you're going to search for Terrainetronics and that's going to bring up one repository so we're going to click on that and here is where I keep all the code. So we're just going to start with this Harlech simple pattern um, and you'll see here, here's the, the file of code that you can use. Okay, so we're just going to grab all of this. There we go. And copy and paste it into our Arduino folder. Very, very easy. Copy, and then we run Arduino, copy and paste. So first thing we need to do is map the lights into our code. So you find the basic pattern in your code and map out the LED. So you look for this section of code. And, you know, this is the test program, right? So this switches all the outputs on at full brightness for three seconds. And then the next step is all of these out outputs are off. That doesn't matter what value that is, but it's maximum brightness uh, for three seconds as well, 3,000 milliseconds. So what we do is we're going to clear all those ones at the top here, replace it with just one, and we'll be able to see then which one of these um, the, first, the first bit here maps to. I've copy and pasted the code over, and I'm going to uh, replace all these zeros, or uh, ones with zeros. So now this is only going to switch on one LED and one off. We're going to uh, make sure we connect to the right serial port and download. Okay, so this is now finished downloading, and you can see uh, num oh, number one down here, this, this smallest, uh, uh, least significant bit here is uh, this LED. Uh, and now I'm going to change it. I'm going to go one step along. Here we go. And we'll switch this off. Now if I upload again, um, I think one of the other LEDs will light up, although I'm not sure which one. So we'll see how that, uh, how that comes along. So you'll see now, now this bit of this 8-bit field, that's this LED. Now I'm going to cheat it a little bit here, and I can see that I didn't put anything in the third one here. You can see one, two, and then there's a gap. So what I'm going to do is go back in our code here. I'm going to jump one. So let's change that to a zero. Not that one, that one. And it's on, and you can see there's a red LED in the back. So maybe I could make changes to my code here a little bit. This would probably be a good way of doing it, wouldn't it? So um, 0B0000000, there should be eight in total. Uh, is uh, the left big green LED. Then we'll do 0B0000010 is the right big green LED. Um, 0B0000100 is the, uh, is the top right uh, top right um, 
red LED behind the door. And then let's do the next one, shall we? Oh, that's a different LED. I think that's a one that's closer to the bottom. Uh, is the uh, bottom right red LED behind the door. And then let's do one more. Do we have anything? Nothing. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's try the next one over then. Because I didn't use all of the LED slots, you know, I could plug them into any of them, and this this mapping uh, simply uh, allows me to to map it this way. Excellent. So now you can see there's a blue LED in the back here, just at the top here. So it's kind of a top left blue LED. Um, top left blue LED behind the door. Okay, now let's um, let's start modifying our code a little bit and modifying our pattern. What I actually want here is a pattern for um, both of these big green LEDs. I want them both on. And I want one of them to flicker a little bit. So that might be something like uh, you know, switch both these lights on for three seconds, and then after three seconds, keep one of them on and let the other one go off, and let this stage last like a hundred milliseconds. And let's see if we can get just a, a single flicker every three seconds. Look at that. So now we see they're both on, and then this one flickers for a hundred milliseconds. So now what I'm going to do, uh, I, did, I wanted this one to flicker, right? Which means I actually need to switch these around. And there we go. And I want this to be a faster flicker than that. Like I want it to be maybe 30 milliseconds. And let's see. All right. Now, do you see that over there? That just flickered. Okay. But this is a pretty boring pattern, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to extend this pattern by copy and pasting this line. Let's... Uh, so every time you put a new line in like this, what it's doing is it's adding an extra step. And so for instance, let's say uh, I wanted to go off and back on again. I'm gonna put this in for like, uh, I don't know, I'm making numbers up now, 200 milliseconds off, uh, and then back on again for, you know, uh, I don't know, 500 milliseconds maybe. And then uh, we will switch it off at the end for 20 milliseconds. 20. Oh, look at that. Naughty, naughty. Hold on. There we go. We'll just push these out so it all looks nice. So now I've got four steps, right? Both lights on for three seconds. Then for a short time, one of them's going to switch off. And then they're going to be back on, you know, for, let's, uh, let's make this one second. That's 1,000 milliseconds. They're all both back on, then a, a quick flicker. So let's see how that looks now. Now you can see by doing this, you actually build up a really, um, you can build up pretty complex sequences and really make things flicker and flash and so on. Yeah, okay, so that first flash is still a little bit too long, right? This, this, so let's move this down to like 80 or something like that. Uh, 80 milliseconds. Because otherwise it looks a little bit too deliberate. It doesn't look like natural enough to be a flicker. And what I might do is change this brightness as well. So let's change that uh, to like 400. Oh yeah, all right. So it's, it's got this kind of flicker, flicker, flicker. I think I'm going to add like two or three more patterns underneath um, and see if we can really make it kind of flicker on and off a little bit as well, right? So uh, let's put f uh, a couple of 20s here. Right, these three in order right now, won't, they won't visibly look different because you've got lights on, full brightness for 20. But what if we did this? Um, and then we'll make that 200. So I'm actually gonna switch all the lights off for a quick second here. So it's, yeah, there's the first flash, the second flash, okay. So now we're going to come back in here. I'm gonna copy and paste these two. So they both flash on and off a couple of times. Oopsie daisy, I didn't, I wasn't too happy about that. Now when you do copy and paste these, make sure you copy and paste them properly as well. Um, okay, so let's see. Okay, okay, so that first step is three seconds, and then we've got like a little bit of stuff, and then like a, a blitter of noise that happens here for 20 milliseconds each. Here we go, ready? Oh, yeah. See that right off? And here comes a blitter. 
So that gives you a very quick idea of how you can very quickly build up these patterns. Now, um, we had um, lights as well in the background here, right? We had the red lights, so we got one of them at this bit, one of them at this bit, one of them at this bit. So I'm going to leave the blue LED on constantly. And to do that, I just change this bit to one always. So again, you know, we said earlier uh, in one of the other videos, you know, if you can do Excel, you can do this. This isn't that difficult. OK, so we now should see the blue LED in the background. OK, so now we have a blue LED in the background and I'm going to switch on this red LED, one of them. Let's put this one on for this one. And then it's going to go off again and we'll switch it back on for this. Uh, there we go. Let's see how that works. And we'll put it on back down here as well. Here we go. Oh, there's a bit of a flicker there. So with using a little bit of gray matter to work out which LED is which, we've been quickly able to develop our own patterns here with a little bit of flicker just to make things stand out a little bit more. Come check out Terraintronics today at www.terraintronics.com and see if the Harlech board works for you as well. Thanks again, folks.